This is the big one. The debate had in production studios across the world. Final Cut or Premiere Pro? I recently switched sides and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts so you can decide. First, some background. Both of these guys are linear video editors. Premiere Pro is made by Adobe and Final Cut is made by Apple. The first place they differ is UI, which is user interface. They look very different, but don't be fooled, they do the exact same thing. Now, Final Cut is only available on Mac OS but Premiere Pro is available on both Mac OS and PC. So Premiere Pro is definitely the more popular program right now. I've been editing for about 400 hours in Premiere Pro and about 200 hours in Final Cut. These are my no means record numbers, but I feel like it's enough for me to say what I think is good about one program or the other. Right off the jump, if you're a newer editor and you're on Mac OS, Final Cut is a no brainer. The hardware acceleration you get with Final Cut on Mac OS is no joke. Joke, and it can make the difference between being able to edit in 4k or just 1080p and if you're on one of the newer M1 Max dude you're set there's a reason Apple keeps a very tight ecosystem because when it's at its best you are getting some incredible performance gains. Render times, export times, and playback are all dramatically improved, and that can be a big deal when you're editing. I remember I was doing a project a few weeks back on my old computer, and I shot the project in 4K, 120p, 422, 10-bit. I was so excited to watch the footage back and color it, but I could barely watch two seconds of it without it chopping up, and it added hours of time extra to that edit. I tried to use proxies, but as many people who use proxies know, they are not very efficient if you're trying to quickly edit a project. All right, and the price? Dang, Final Cut is $300. Flat, that's crazy. No monthly fees. By comparison, the full Adobe suite is like $65 a month. So if you're new to editing or just wanna take full advantage of your Mac, you need to be using Final Cut. Now, if you're a creative professional, this is the tricky part. I have friends in both camps here, right? Okay, so you got a group of video editors here right now. I'm gonna go ask some of them now what they think about Final Cut versus Premiere. Let's go. Okay, so we've got a whole group of video editors here. And we are now going to separate you into two groups. Are you ready? Okay, no. left side, Premiere. On the right side, Final Cut. All right, separate. Everybody, okay, okay. Why do you guys use Final Cut? No. Gotcha, I gotcha. Why do y'all use Premiere? I do like that when I press render, I get at least like 40 minutes break for my work. <laughs> I mean, for me, just because I can use After Effects and everything else, so it's easy to link. This is big. For the price you pay each month for Premiere <laughs> and After Effects, you could pay for like a subscription to like Envato that gives you like all those graphics already completed and like working perfectly. Oh. All right, all right. It's way faster. It's way, I used to put my computer into the freezer. <laughs> I get rid of it. I used to, yeah. And, yeah, we premiere. We can't forget. But yeah. now it's like the same render that took like half an hour. It's like five minutes, so it's way faster. That's it. All right. Now you've heard it from some other video editors. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think it all comes down to your situation. If you're an editor who works often with others, you probably need to use Premiere. It supports a ton of formats, and if you're working with other Adobe programs, you almost have to use Premiere. It's a great editing tool with a ton of niche features. Each Adobe program has its purpose, but you can often do a little bit of everything in each. For example, after Effects is incredible at masking keyframing, but you can also do this in Premiere. By the same token, Premiere is a great editing tool, but you can also chop up clips in After Effects too, just not as fast. The biggest thing that Adobe has going for it is the services that tie all of these programs together. I'm talking about Media Encoder and Dynamic Link. Media Encoder groups all your exports from Premiere and After Effects into one program, meaning you can queue them all up and let them export in the background while you still use the programs. Dynamic Link lets you import files from other programs, and if you make changes over there, it'll update in your Premiere Pro timeline. And you can just drag and drop compositions, and as you change and save them in After Effects, they will update in Premiere. For massive projects where you have 40 to 100 graphics going on in one timeline, this is a game changer. 
when it works. As of late, you guys, this has not been working very well. It didn't work well when I was on my Intel Mac, and it's not working that great on my M1 Mac either. When I was doing my 30 days of daily vlogging to start this channel, I spent about 60 hours in Premiere editing. It crashed maybe three to six times a day, and I spent maybe 30 minutes a day on every single project just trying to figure out what went wrong. Despite all of the incredible features of Premiere and how popular it is, and how much everyone tells me to stay, I guess I'll say it. After five years of video editing, I've switched to Final Cut. Let me tell you my experience of switching to Final Cut from Premiere after so many years. I have fallen in love with video editing again. And even though Premiere Pro has way more features than Final Cut, it doesn't matter. I've crashed maybe three times in over 20 hours of editing on Final Cut. And export times can be between two to four minutes for a 10 minute render. Something we didn't talk about earlier when we were talking about Premiere is timeline features. Final Cut is different because it has something called a magnetic timeline. This means that if you cut out a gap in footage, that gap automatically shrinks so you don't have to constantly delete those gaps. Let me tell you, I have spent so much time deleting gaps. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can ever go back to deleting 500 gaps in Premiere Pro every single edit. I have had so much fun editing back in Final Cut. I've been editing my projects much faster and that's because this program actually works. No more crashes, no more lost work, just video editing. That's incredible. Goodbye Premiere Pro, hello Final Cut. It's good to be back. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comment below and give me your take. Do you use Premiere Pro or Final Cut and why? Leave a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, Please subscribe and I'll see you next one.